is there anything quite as much fun as getting new toys, especially when they're of the power tool variety. You've taken the time to select the right mower, but in many respects the most important parts come next. Your new Victor mower will come almost completely assembled, but there are a few little things that you need to do. Now take your time because this will assure that you get years of enjoyable and trouble-free use from your new mower. First things first, get the box open. Cut carefully to avoid damaging anything, then pull out the loose bits and make sure everything's there. It'll vary with the model, but you'll find the catcher, a satchel with instructions and warranty info, as well as tools. Your mower is a two-person lift, so either grab a friend to help you lift it out of the box, or grab a utility knife and very carefully cut down two corners of the box end. Fold the flap down and roll the mower out. You've unleashed the beast, now slow down a little. Before you get started, look through the assembly and owner's manual and familiarise yourself with all of the steps that relate to your mower. First step is to get the handle assembled. Different mowers have different mechanisms. This one just uses a screw down knob. Some models have a cam lock and nylock nut system. Take care to adjust these properly by the instructions. Once everything's tightened, you'll find the handle will be nice and rigid. No rattles or movement. Attach a throttle control to the upper handle. That's as easy as inserting and tightening up one nut and bolt until the assembly is rattle free. The next step is to assemble the catcher. You just need to click a few parts together and then pop in two screws to secure it. And these vents and flaps on top, they let your catcher breathe. So in heavy or thick grass, open them right up and for a light mow or in dry dusty conditions, shut them down. If your mower is a model that can be switched to mulch mowing, then the mulching plug will either be already in the discharge chute or it'll be in the box. Now, if you're gonna mulch mow straight away, make sure that plug's fitted correctly. Otherwise, put it in a safe place so you can find it later. These next two steps are really the most important for keeping your mower happy and healthy for years to come. Oil and fuel. The sump of your four-stroke mower will come dry when you get it, so you need to fill it before you use it. But don't just grab any old engine oil. Grab yourself a new bottle of quality oil. And your mower needs a specific grade of oil designed for air-cooled engines. Or better still, invest in a high-quality, full synthetic oil. Briggs & Stratton have made sure your setup process is easy and nothing's forgotten with their Let's Get Started kits. You need to get your oil quantity right for your first fill. Check your engine manual for the right volume. And it's really important not to over or underfill. I like to use a measuring jug for accuracy. Now that's done, you can let it settle for 10 minutes or so and you can add your fuel. Just like the oil, it's important that your fuel is fresh and the right grade for your engine and never refuel indoors. Okay, well we're almost there. Just check that your spark plug's nice and secure. Decide on whether your first run you're gonna be using your mulching plug or your catcher and then in just a second we'll be able to fire it up for the first time. When you start your mower up, it's good practice to move it away from where you added your fuel. Set your height before you start the mower and don't panic if your mower doesn't start on the first couple of pulls. The fuel and oil have to work their way all through the system. Now throttle open, grab the starter, pull until it catches, then a nice smooth pull to start. And a bit of a puff of smoke is totally normal on first start as excess oil burns off. Now just let it run for a minute or two to have its first warm up and set up on the first of many, many trouble-free mows.